Welcome to Learnpedia. Score more and rank better in JE and NEET. Let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, then post it in the comment section below. To know the best way to answer this question, continue watching this video. Aromaticity. Aromatic compounds are cyclic and planar and they undergo substitution reactions rather than addition reactions. That's already we had covered in the reactions. And this property is common to all aromatic compounds and it is referred to as aromaticity or aromatic character. According to Huckel's rule, all aromatic compounds should have 4n plus 2 pi electrons where here n is an integer that is 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. And these compounds should possess unusual stability due to complete delocalization of pi electrons. So aromatic compounds, they should be cyclic and they should be planar. And another one here, they should possess 4n plus 2 pi electrons where n is an integer there. So because of this one, and they should possess extraordinary stability due to the complete delocalization of pi electrons. So now let us see exactly what are the necessary and sufficient conditions for a molecule to be aromatic. First one, the molecule should be cyclic with complete delocalization of pi electrons. Remember, we shall work out so many objectives based on this particular one slide. So the molecule should be cyclic. There should be complete delocalization of the pi electrons. That is the first necessary and sufficient condition for a molecule to be aromatic. So don't worry, I will take some examples to explain all these points. Second one, the molecule should be planar. That means to make it simple, I can say like this. All the carbon atoms of the ring should undergo sp2 hybridization. Then only the molecule becomes planar. The third condition, as mentioned in Huckel's rule, it should contain 4n plus 2 pi electrons where n is an integer. So the molecule should be cyclic with complete delocalization of pi electrons. That is the first condition. And the molecule should be planar means where all the carbon atoms of the ring should undergo sp2 hybridization. According to the Huckel's rule, the molecule should contain 4n plus 2 pi electrons. So when all the three conditions are satisfied, then only we can say that the given organic compound is aromatic in nature. And there is another type of compounds which we call it as anti-aromatic compounds. So these are also planar and conjugated with complete delocalization of pi electrons. But the only thing here is they possess 4n pi electrons. So cyclic planar compounds having 4n pi electrons in complete delocalization, they are called as anti-aromatic compounds. And all the other compounds which are neither aromatic nor anti-aromatic, they come under non-aromatic compounds. When they are not satisfying all these conditions, we call them as non-aromatic compounds. Let's understand this concept now by taking some examples. Here is the first one, benzene. This is the structure of benzene. From the structure, it is very clear that this benzene is a cyclic compound. Then all the carbon atoms of benzene are sp2 hybridized. So definitely the molecule is planar. And the third one we need to check out whether benzene has 4n plus 2 pi electrons or not. As three double bonds are there, it means total 6 pi electrons are there. Means 4n plus 2 is equal to 6 pi electrons. That is 4n is equal to 4 and n is equal to 1. So what can be the n value? It can be 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. So it means that it obeys Huckel's rule. So it possesses 6 pi electrons and that too in complete delocalization. So that is the reason why we can say that benzene is an aromatic compound as it is satisfying all the necessary conditions. Let's see another example. It is naphthalene and here is the structure of naphthalene. Now the first one, this naphthalene is a cyclic compound. So the first criteria is satisfied. Then see there is alternate double bond and single bond for all throughout the entire rings means each and every carbon is forming one double bond and two single bonds. It means all the carbon atoms undergo sp2 hybridization. It means that is this naphthalene is planar. Now we need to check out whether it possesses 4n plus 2 pi electrons or not. So this one contains total 10 pi electrons because five double bonds are there. And of course they are in complete delocalization. Let's check out this number. 
10 pi electrons. 4n plus 2 is equal to 10 pi electrons. So 4n is equal to 8 and n is equal to 2 which is an allowed value. So it means it is obeying the Huckel's rule of 4n plus 2 pi electrons. As it is satisfying all the three conditions, therefore we can say that even naphthalene is aromatic in nature. Is it clear how to check out whether a given compound is aromatic or not? Let's move to the next example. Cyclopropene. Here is the structure. So what should be our first point to check out? Whether it is cyclic or not. So this is a cyclic compound. Second one, we need to check out whether the molecule is planar or not. Now from the structure it is very clear that this one is sp2 hybridized carbon and this is also sp2 hybridized carbon and here this particular carbon is sp3 hybridized. So whenever there is an sp3 hybridized carbon definitely that is not a planar. So here I can say that one of the carbon is sp3 hybridized and another important thing here is there are two pi electrons. So we need to check out from the Huckel's rule. 4n plus 2 is equal to 2. So where we are getting 4n is equal to 0. n equal to 0 which is an allowed value for n. But see here there is no complete delocalization. There is no chance of resonance at all because there is neither a positive charge in conjugation with the double bond or there is no other double bond in conjugation with this one. So there is no complete delocalization. So that is the reason why this particular compound is non-aromatic in nature. The next one, the cyclopropenyl cation. It is this one. The first point, this is cyclic. Then I say that this particular cyclopropyl cation is planar. And why it is planar? Because of resonance, all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. Isn't it? Because what can be the resonating structure of this one? as a double bond is in conjugation with this positively charged carbon. So the electrons of this pi bond can be shifted here to get this particular structure with a double bond in between these two carbons and a positive charge on this particular carbon. So now this is becoming sp2 hybridized carbon and of course we know that the positively charged carbon of a carbocation is sp2 hybridized. Isn't it? So this is planar. The third one this contains the same 2 pi electrons as that of cyclopropene and that too in complete delocalization. Isn't it? So definitely this is also aromatic in nature. We need to check out whether all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized or not. Then we need to find out whether it is satisfying Huckel's rule and that too all the pi electrons are in complete delocalization or not. Another example, cyclobuta-1,3-diene and its structure is like this four membered ring with two double bonds in between one and two and between three and four. So our first point, the cyclic nature is satisfied. The second one, all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. So the molecule is planar. And see the third point, it is having four pi electrons. Let us check out with the Huckel's rule. 4n plus 2 is equal to 4. 4n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 1 by 2 which is 0 0.5 not a valid value for this n. So it is not obeying Huckel's rule. But see here 4n is equal to 2 which is again an allowed value. So I can say that it contains 4 pi electrons means it possess 4 n pi electrons and that too with complete delocalization. Because as the two double bonds are in conjugation with each other the phenomenon of resonance exists. So as mentioned earlier, whenever a molecule is cyclic and planar with 4n pi electrons with complete delocalization, that is called as anti-aromatic compound. So this is an anti-aromatic species. The next one, cyclobutenyl carbanion. And this is the structure. And this is also cyclic. And see this particular carbon, this particular carbon it is sp3 hybridized. So whenever one of the carbon atom is sp3 hybridized, then definitely that is not a planar molecule. And of course you know that the negatively charged carbon of a carbanion is sp3 hybridized. So definitely it is not planar. So when at least one of the first two conditions are not satisfied, directly you can say that this particular compound is non-aromatic in nature. 
but how many pi electrons are there? Here I say that it possess 4 n pi electrons means total 4 pi electrons are there. How for? Because of resonance even this electron pair on this particular carbon is involved in pi bond formation means these two will be shifted here and the electrons of this pi bond is shifted to adjacent carbon in this way. So possess 4 n pi electrons but not in but not in complete delocalization. So the given compound is non-aromatic in nature. Let us move to another example. Cyclopenta 1,3 diinyl cation. Here is the structure. Here the important thing is when they give in the options in terms of the names of the compound, you need to write the structure, then only you can solve the problem. So writing the structure is again very important for which you need the basics of general organic chemistry. Let us see this example. This is a cyclic compound. This is planar because the two double bonds are in conjugation with each other. They are again in turn conjugation with the positively charged carbon. So the delocalization is complete here. And the third point, totally it is having 4 pi electrons. Means here n value becomes 0 0.5. So it is not obeying the Huckel's rule of 4 n plus 2 pi electrons. It possess 4 n pi electrons. So this does not possess 4 n plus 2 pi electrons. But it possess 4 n pi electrons in complete delocalization. So what should be your answer? Definitely this is anti-aromatic in nature. Because it is cyclic, it is planar and possess 4 n pi electrons. And let's see the last example. Cyclopenta 1,3 diinyl anion. And its structure is like this. The first point, this is cyclic in nature. Second one, I say it as planar because as it double bonds and again in conjugation with this lone pair of electrons. So this lone pair of electrons can also be involved in pi bond formation in this particular way. So we get this particular structure. Double bond. This is negative charge and this is the double bond. So it means because of this complete delocalization, all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. And when all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized, definitely that molecule or the ion is planar. As this lone pair is also involved in delocalization, so totally there are 6 pi electrons. Whenever 6 pi electrons are there, definitely we can say that they are satisfying the Huckel's rule. So possess 4 n plus 2 pi electrons. As it is satisfying all the requirements of aromatic compound. So that is about the aromaticity. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the answer to the question that was asked in the beginning. Keep watching to give an edge to a JE and NEED preparation. Learnpedia's JE and NEED prep tools contain over 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. You can access them online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of the product before buying.